hello and welcome back to Lucky Ducky Ducky Literature Club. Let's continue where we left off. So we're about to hear their new set of poems. Let's go Natsuki first. Hmm. Well, I can admit it's better than the last one. It's nice to see you're putting in some effort. That's good. Just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been like... Spending time with her or whatever. But you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. At, at poems, I mean. So you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. Let's see if it's the same or different. I'll make sure you learn something from it. Yeah, it is the same, I think. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her sing my favourite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. And the world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Yeah, I think that's exactly the same as last time. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I'll have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they'll make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone else likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such as, the, such as two of the girls in this very club who I respectfully won't name. Well, there is only two other girls kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort I can't even have people respect me. Now you're making me complain too much. For what it's worth I respect you. Well. I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave now. Ooh, Yuri. Everyone has will probably be the same as well. It might be Monica's who's different. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today.
Do you like it? Where's one? This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kinds of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try and give it more imagery. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Roswin. Why oh, she looks genuinely happy? Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Roswin? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Ooh, this is a different one. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Gear linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe. Time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning. A prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes. A, a thread concealing all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of... A holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimension, forty gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. Lidoscope of blood written in clocks. Time devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing a holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. Wow. That's a poem and a half. She's got these same themes. Um, ooh, there's a stain on it. Um, she's got the same things, themes coming up and up again, but kind of playing with them all together and intermashing them. Um, this bit of a confused prayer it seems like maybe she's got things all kind of tangled up in her head I don't know but anyway uh -huh. it doesn't really matter what it's about my mind has been a little hyperactive lately so I had to take it out on your pen ah uh. That is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and... I am... Um, I just really like the way that it writes. Okay. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Okay, this is weird. 
awkward. Can we pretend this conversation never happened? I think that might be best. You can keep the poem, though. Well, that was weird and slightly awkward. Um, I think she's losing it a bit in this um, story. Roswin, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which should be a which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and, start and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean... It's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. Ooh. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Hint, Monica. You put it lightly, at least... I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way t this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colours, they won't. Bright, beautiful colours. Listening, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise won't stop. By mm, great mm, king great mm, pierce sine cosine tangent play mm, a board on a rentable like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage mm, mm, of mm, Delete her. Okay. Don't get, quite get what that delete her is about. But I'll carry on. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Okay, let's save the game. Obviously, a hint. never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening.
Ooh, a special poem. Yeah, let's read it. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come and sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively since, ever since Roswin joined and we've started some clump activities. But this isn't time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know. What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough people to be considered an official club. More members would just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place. The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves, like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Roswin? Ah. Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Roswin to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. You really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Roswin joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Roswin isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. Oh, she didn't say all this last time. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president at all, but you really should consider our opinions for once. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Roswin want to get more members too. Right? Um, no, 
Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Roswin, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well... In fact, if I remember you weren't even given a choice not to join. What's the point of all this anyway? If, what if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just broke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? Not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't as many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking... She's not taking anything away. No, Roswin. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. I'm going home. I feel like... I don't belong here right now. That's okay. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? I... I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective, make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Rosamond? What do you want to get out of this club? I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. 
that's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Oh, whoa, she's crying blood. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk more about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Roswin? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Roswin before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Okay, I trust your judgement, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Rosalind, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Oh, the background's gone all weird. I feel like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? Ooh, music stopped suddenly. I don't like seeing other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little, you know... <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, uh, I mean... I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No! And we'll leave it there for this time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please press that like button and please subscribe. But until then, I'll see you all later.